Hey guys, today I have another lip balm video. I hate chapped lips in the winter, so I'm gonna try all the lip balms. So this one is from Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Lust Lux Lip Balm. It's also called the Lip Fetish Balm Tin on Sephora if you're looking for it. This is limited edition for the holidays and it's 33 Canadian or 25 US dollars. And you get 12 grams of product. So they have two shades, a clear one and a pink one. The pink one's called Rose Fantasy. I wasn't able to find it on the Sephora online store, but I found it on Pat McGrath's website Site, and I picked this up in Sephora in store. So it is available. I'm not sure what that's all about. Cutest packaging ever. Little pink compact tin with the lips on the lid and the clear one has a white tin. So the lid can be a bit stubborn. You have to twist and pull off. If you just yank on it, it's a bit tough, but twisting and pulling seems to help. They did have a little sticker on the side too that says twist and pull, but I took it off. And it feels heavy. I love anything that's compact like this, but heavy. Now this pink shade in the tin, it looks way darker than some of the online photos. Online, they look really bright, but this one's kind of darker and almost closer to a purple, but it doesn't show off that way when you're actually wearing it. I am wearing it right now. I'm not sure if you can tell. The pink kind of barely exists when you're putting it on. Now my lips are pretty pink to begin with, but even swatching it on my hand, it barely shows up. It's like the faintest little pink mark. Now, to be fair, I was reading the description online and it says the sheerest veil of color. The sheerest. It's definitely the sheerest. So don't go into this expecting a nice lip tint. It's really too subtle to call it a tint. And the texture is very hard. I had to swirl my finger in over and over and over again just to get even the littlest bit on there. Um, you really got to work for it. It's not impossible, but you got to go in multiple times to get enough to put on your lips and so it doesn't just get lost right away when you're rubbing it in. And then so you swirl and swirl and swirl to try and get product on. You get some on your finger and it just goes on so thin. So you put in all this effort and it's still the thinnest little layer. With that being said, it's a really nice balm. A little bit does go a long way, I find. Don't need to lob it on for it to do its job. Just that thin little layer does provide a lot of moisture. For a lip balm, it's actually quite nice. I saw a lot of reviews online comparing it to a lip mask. You can't compare it to a lip mask because it's not a lip mask, it's a lip balm. For a lip balm, it's really good product. But don't go into this product thinking you're gonna get a thick lip mask, it's a lip balm. I feel like I haven't had a lot of luck with lip balms lately. I feel like they've just been pretty subpar. And this one's not my favorite. I would say it's uh, just underneath my favorite one. It's really comfortable. It feels like your lips are getting nourished right away as soon as you put it on. It feels like it's sinking in really nice. And comparing this to my favorite lip balm, the Sol de Janeiro one, I'd say it's just a step below that one. The fact that I would even consider comparing Anything to the Sol de Janeiro lip balm means it's really good. I applied this a while ago and it still feels comfortable. My lips still feel really hydrated. I recently tried out the Bite Beauty lip balm tin and I feel like if these two lip balm tins combined, it'd be the perfect lip balm because Bite one looked pretty. It had a really nice uh, pink tint, at least the shade that I tried, but the moisture just sucked. It was like one of the worst lip balms ever. It made my lips feel worse with putting it on. This one, it's the opposite. The pink shade doesn't show up at all, but it's a really good lip balm. I feel like if we just combined those two, it would be perfect. So even though this pink shade doesn't really show up all that well, it doesn't really say that it will. It doesn't advertise this as being a tint. It advertises it as a lip balm. So I think that is fair. I mean, it does everything it says. It moisturizes your lips. It leaves them nourished and uh, it provides the sheerest veil of color, so that's fair. The only thing I don't like is you have to work really hard to get it out of the tin with your finger. But besides that, it still works. It's an awesome lip balm in a cute little container. And I mean, yeah, it does what it says it will. Is it worth $33? Not necessarily, but I will leave that up to you to decide. Anyway, that's all I have for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.